mango ice cream. We're going to be doing it as a notion. So all you have to do is mix up or whip up your ingredients and it goes into your freezer. You don't need an ice cream machine. So to a mixing bowl, you're going to add in some heavy whipping cream. And you want to make sure that the whipping cream is very cold. So you're going to whip this until it forms stiff peaks. Okay, so the next step, we're just leaving the whipping cream aside and the next step, we're going to make the mango base. So here I have pureed mango and I'm actually using two Julie mangoes that I peeled and pureed into a pulp. And when you're using your mangoes, you can use any type of mango you want. I just love Julie mango, hence the reason why I'm using Julie mango. Any mango, once it is not a fibrous mango, will work great for this recipe. Next, I'm going in with some turmeric powder. Now this is totally optional, you don't have to put it. Grated nutmeg. Now, I'm using flavors that I would like to taste in this mango ice cream, but you can put whatever flavors you would like. So you can switch it up and put whatever you like. I'm going in with some of that um, BDC's mixed essence, just a drop. You don't want it to be overpowering. And now I'm going to go in with sweetened condensed milk. And you can add as much or as little sweetened condensed milk as you like. Something I'm just going to be using half of the tin. Next, mix to combine. You can taste it and make sure that it's sweet to your liking. If not, you can always add more condensed milk. Now if you guys can't find heavy whipping cream for this recipe, you can use Cool Whip. The only thing is you'd add less condensed milk because that Cool Whip is already sweet. Next you're going to go in with that whipping cream or the whipped cream. And you want to fold that in. I'm just going to switch back to my whisk to help break up the pieces of whipped cream. See, it works better when you use the, the whisk. So I suggest using the whisk and not your spatula. And use a whisk that is big in volume and that way you don't lose the volume of the whipped cream. Now I'm going to go in with a pinch of cardamom or elaichi powder and this is totally optional. You just want a little pinch, not too much to overpower the mango you're going to mix that in. Cardamom and mango, they both work really well together. And if you guys love cardamom, you need to check out my cardamom fudge recipe. That one is to die for. Okay, so now I'm going to empty this into a freezer container. Just smoothen it out and you're going to cover this and store it in your freezer until it's frozen. And then all you have to do is scoop and enjoy. Once frozen, I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. 